Good morning, Lions Nation Night, and free agency has been going for the Detroit Lions. It's been a fun one for sure, but we're going to talk about what Brad Holmes has done for this football team and what it means, and I'm talking about I think he's making some money moves and the importance of the moves that he's made, not just for the roster, but for the finances as well, because Brad Holmes... He's a cap magician, and we're going to get into it and how he has really set the lines up to continue to make some quality moves in free agency and obviously freeing up money for this up-and-coming NFL draft. The Lions talent looking pretty good, and I think they're, they're not just competing for the NFC North here. They're trying to compete with the 49ers and the Eagles for in the NFC. I really do. I think the Lions are taking that next step, and Brad Holmes is doing that. This is some very good, you know, things that we're seeing from Holmes and company. So we're going to go through it, give you my thoughts on this bad boy. And by the way, while I'm making this, Darius Slay was just released by the Philadelphia Eagles. Darius Slay released. Uh, add him to the DB room. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And we're going to go through the cap. <laughs> they have, they're fine. They are fine cap-wise. So. Let's go ahead and first off talk about the cap. I think that's probably the, the 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 best way to start right now. So the Detroit Lions, you can't see it here, but their estimated cap space right now is 20, $20,630,000. We start at 18.5 in the free agency. We have 20.6 in cap space. Charles Harris just read it, did his contract. That helped it out to get it to 20.6. I was told weeks ago... About a month ago that they're going to release Romeo Aquara. If they release Romeo Aquara, the Lions are going to get an extra $7.5 million in cap. That would get it to around $28 million in cap space. $28 million. Okay? And they're, I was told they're going to restructure Big V's contract. That hasn't happened yet. I don't know. Maybe it'd be a couple million there. If that is the case... Then you're looking at the Detroit Lions right now. We're sitting at ninth in the NFL in cap space. If that occurs, we're going to be sitting around four in the NFL in cap space. Four, three to four. And that could happen with the next 24 hours, depending on what, what they would do with Romeo and Big V. So the Lions got better talent-wise, and we got better cap-wise. So the Lions still have a, a big opportunity if they want to go ahead and sign more free agents, veterans. Maybe it's like I said, Slay was just released, even though we did well in the DB room because we have the money to do it. And in, this is very good work by Brad Holmes. Let me know in the comment section right now. What is your thoughts on Brad Holmes so far for the Lions and, and what he's done in free agency, I got to give him an A plus. Now, you know, I see with this cap. When I looked at the cap, you got to give him. You got. I mean, it's amazing. It is amazing. Literally, we could be sitting there in the next twenty four hours with the third, fourth best cap space in the NFL. So let's look what they did here. This is exactly what they did. They renegotiated Charles Harris' contract, and that freed up two point eight two. But last night. They signed David Montgomery. I know a lot of people are upset. Well, Jamal Williams, Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams was reportedly looking for around $9 million a year. We'll find out exactly what he gets when he does sign with the team, but you cannot pay Jamal Williams that type of money. When he's a number two back, I love Jamal Williams. Swag Daddy was my favorite player, and it hurt to lose him. It did, but he's an older running back. And that's a lot of money. So what do they do? They get running back David Montgomery, who's much younger than Jamal Williams, who is the same type of player, the power back that gets those fickle yards. He's the one-cut guy. He got 800 yards rushing and one of the worst offensive lines in football last year with the Chicago Bears. He's very consistent. He's a well-loved over there in Chicago. Great leader. And you bring him to the Lions running back room where he I think he on the field, he's a he's a better he's a better running back than Jamal Williams, in my opinion. He just is. Very good in blocking. You can't tackle the guy. Power, he gets those extra two, three yards. Very good investment by the Detroit Lions. 
very good. Yeah, you're talking about six million a year. But if Jamal was looking for nine million a year, would you really want to pay that? Would you? Because you're talking around the franchise tag for Saquon Barkley is a little over ten million. And I don't think Jamal Williams is near that. And we needed to have a guy that's that could be that Jamal Williams because we're not going to pay that. So I think it was a great signing. I think it was another money move that Brad Holmes made for getting that power back. And it doesn't it doesn't this move doesn't stop for the Lions if they wanted to get their speed back in the NFL draft. If they wanted to get a playmaker like a Jameer Gibbs, one of those fast speed guys when you're looking for lightning to our thunder. You know, we don't know what's going on with DeAndre Swift after this season, but I think a lot of us expect that he's not going to be here after next season. So they could go ahead and get that lightning running back in the draft. They could, or they could make a move because of the cap space that we do have. There were links to Austin Eckler late last night and in his trade. I don't know if anything like that's going to happen, but the Lions have the ability to make a move if they really want to because of what they did with the cap space. So it gives them flexibility. Then they get ahead and get John Kaminsky. I think this is the most underrated signing for the Detroit Lions. John Kaminsky, great rotational player. When he wasn't playing, we didn't win a game. When he was in the game, he's getting sacks. The continuity with the defensive line was really good and fierce. Now, the Lions at pick six, it looks like they're going to take if, you know, when you're looking at what they've done in free agency, they're going to get a edge rusher or a defensive tackle. Defensive lineman. You add John Kaminsky to that, you're looking at one of the best defensive line rotations in the NFL. You are. We're looking at 2014 Detroit Lions defensive line where we wreaked havoc. But you need to have those rotational players, and that's exactly what John Kaminsky is. And it's not a bad deal. It's less than I thought he was going to get. So he took a, a a hometown discount, in my opinion. We get back Will Harris. Look, he's not a starter. He may compete as a backup. One-year deal. I'm not going to get upset about depth players because you need depth players. Even though it's like, oh, it's Will Harris. But you need depth players. We all know that. So I'm not upset about any depth player, in all honesty. Uh, Emmanuel Mosley. Another money move here. Talked to a bunch of San Francisco 49ers fans and a contents creators last night. They love Emmanuel Mosley. They said he probably made the Pro Bowl if he didn't get hurt if he didn't get hurt last year. He's a feisty tackler machine. What do we need in, in the DB room? A feisty tackling machine. They said it was more of a freak injury. He has been injured a couple years ago with a weird shoulder, but nothing big. So you're going to add him to a one-year, $6 million prove-it deal like we did with DJ Chark, and he's going to be starting for the Detroit Lions. The defensive back room just got better. So I wanted Byron Murphy, who went to the Vikings, but this is essentially Byron Murphy right there. You're getting a a, a one-year deal for Emmanuel Mosley, who's a good player, just had that injury, just like Byron Murphy. So I love the move there. The DB room got better with him. Matt Nelson, don't really care. Again, that's a that's a backup role. You, you got to have your backups, guys. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, Lions restructured Tracy Walker's contract to help some cap space. I actually don't mind this because we know Tracy Walker's going to be here for a couple years. Okay, it's no big deal. Lions bring back Alex Anzalone. I think we all figured he would come back. I didn't know about a three-year deal. This still gives the Lions an opportunity to draft their linebacker. So not big. Right, Cam Sutton, he's our number one cornerback. Right off rip. DB room, better. Money moves. And then Isaiah Bugs, who I absolutely love, another rotational defensive lineman, and Craig Reynolds, a rotational running back. With the moves that the Lions have made so far, the Detroit Lions have set themselves up for the NFL draft to go any direction they want to go. I can't stress this enough. I think we all can agree it's looking likely that the Lions go defensive line at six. But can anyone tell me what definitively they're going to do after that? I cannot do that. I don't know. Because there's not that many holes now on this team. There's not. You can say 
At 18, well, they could definitely go corner. They could, but they also go wide receiver. They could also go man, a linebacker if they really want to do that. They could go edge if they go DT at 6. Hell, they, they could go safety. Same with in the second round. And honestly, it wouldn't shock me if they wanted to move up. Say they want to get Will Anderson. With the moves that they made in free agency, you can give up a draft pick now to move up to three if they are like, you know what, we got to get Will Anderson. We have to get this guy. The Lions can do it because of the free agency moves that Brad Holmes has made. And we can afford it. We can afford this. I can't stress this enough. This has done a phenomenal job by Brad Holmes. Phenomenal job. I am absolutely pleased with the moves that he's made because of the players as well as the cap space. We, we can pretty much do anything they want to go now in the draft. And if they want to pick up more players in free agency, they can. So Brad Holmes has set this team up real well. I love what he's doing. I'm really excited for the future of this football team. I think we're going to be a nasty team. I think we're going to be villain, just like that shirt. So this is great news for the Lions. Let me know in the comment section. Grade Brad Holmes' work so far. A couple days into free agency. I got to give him an A, baby. An A.